Hey guys, this is Ephraim here with some death flow. That's loud. I'm playing Batman Boxers. I'm playing the pure warrior variant as compared to the one with Blaster. I just don't like Blaster in this deck. Anyways, as you can see, I kind of edited stuff just for my personal liking. I just like it, okay? I mean, I might not put it on for my replay videos. I've just been playing a lot of Dragon Ball Z recently. I pre recorded a ton of it as well, but that's not really the point. But yeah, I can change it if anyone doesn't like it. Or if it's too bright for anyone. That was kind of an issue I was having. But either way, oh well. I really like this card, Assault Armor. It gives 300 attack. You can only equip it if it's the only monster you control, basically. Then you can send this card to the graveyard to have the monster it was equipped with attack twice during that turn. It can lead to some really good plays. It's just a personal choice of mine. I don't know how many other people play it. Griffer. So he's playing some kind of black wing Fayu mess. Okay. I've got the counter punch, so Well he's playing Plague Spreader and everything. Woohoo! Let's see what we can get here. He can actually put a rank six exceed on my board, but it would use all his materials. I wonder what this deck would do. I think it needs Mally to do anything. Because Bryo's gone, Goyo's gone. But maybe that's just me. I'll evac it. I don't care if he gets the effect off again, in all honesty. He can do whatever he wants. I keep popping my finger. It kinda hurts. I've got the counter punch, so unless he can get. And the thing is, he has to kill this three times with it getting stronger after each battle. Kind of like a sand. Uh huh. Uh yeah. Nah. Oh yeah, he isn't normal this turn. Oh well, I tried. Maybe compulsing wasn't the best idea. Hmm. Armageddon Knight. He's running out of options, I guess. He's probably going to pitch Maui. Yep. But he's using all of his resources. I mean, sure, I don't... I mean, I've got Lead Yoke. And Lead Yoke is l Lead Yoke. It's tough to get around. Mm -hmm. Without a compulse. Or something of the sort. I'll just let him make his plays. So he's gonna go for Armed Wing, that's expected. But what's he gonna do with the Armed Wing? That's the question. Does he have a Kalut? I don't think he'd run Kalut. He can go for Rank 6 with the Mali. Ooh, he can pull out M7. That would hurt. Or a Bouncer. Well, Bouncer wouldn't hurt too much. He's got the M7. Nope, he's just got Bouncer. Woohoo, I'm safe again. Had he had the M7, I probably would have lost. Mm -hmm. I'll just use the effect of Counterpunch to inflict damage. Come on! <laughs> Go on and attack with Greffo. That screwed his plan. Hmm. I don't want to use the effect of assault armor just yet. I like to wait until the lead yoke has at least one detached, so he's at three thousand. And directly, that's a total of six thousand damage. All right, so we just got a plague in the grave. I'll set two. I will stall him if he heavies. Because he's only got that in hand. So I will solemn. 
I don't really like Solemn Judgment, but I feel it's necessary in this deck. This deck can be slow, so you need to run traps, unless you're playing some kind of turbo variant. But I don't really like those kinds of decks. Armageddon Knight. Alright, what can you send? I guess he could get Armor Master on the field with volume. That'd be kind of devastating. Well, not really, because it matches. Alright, we're playing defensive, huh? With the Necro Gardener. I do play a pure warrior build. The only things that I don't worry are a couple things in the extra deck. So I do run either one or two solidarities. And I do run the A-forces. I'm just trying to put as a few warrior cards in here. It may not be the best, but... I don't know. I just... I like solidarity. 800 points for having all of one type in the grave and on the field? Yes, please. Nope. I, I'm just gonna straight up solid that. Because what what would he do? What, what can he do now? I want to save this mirror force just in case. Like I could care less about Stardust Dragon. He's gotten rid of no. He still has a plague, but like I said, Bryo's banned. So. What's he got? Oh, all the cards. Hmm. Should I let him kill? Should I let him detach one off Lead Yoke, though? Because then I could use Solidarity to get him 800 more, putting him at 38. 41. And if I detach, it'll be. Really? Well, I had the Rota anyway, so I would start Switch Hitter. Switch it or pitch a monster, solidarity, detach a solid armor, and go off from there. Alright. I'm not going to bother saving that. I have another one ready to go, maybe. You know what? I'll save that for next time. So, see you guys.